Andretti's making waves with a surprise move that could change the F1 landscape forever. They've just unveiled a brand new factory at Silverstone, signaling their bold ambition to join the Formula One grid soon. The excitement is palpable, as racing fans everywhere wonder what this means for the future of the sport. So, let's watch this video today to uncover the details of Andretti's unexpected step towards entering Formula One. Andretti Global is making moves to enter Formula One with plans to join the grid. They have had support from the F1 governing body and its president, Mohamed Ben Suleim. But Liberty Media, who controls the commercial rights, said no to their entry. But Andretti didn't give up. They kept getting ready to join F1. Recently, they announced they had made a new place for themselves. They've recently unveiled a new facility at Silverstone, a significant step towards their F1 ambitions. Last year, they cleared the first hurdle by gaining approval from the FIA to form their own F1 team. As said, they rented Unit 1134 at Silverstone Park in Towcester. It's very close to the race circuit and Aston Martin's F1 facility. Michael Andretti and his father, Mario, who was an F1 champion in 1978, opened the new place. It will have the existing 80 workers from Andretti Cadillac. This new building is huge, about 48,000 square feet. Andretti calls it a big achievement. It gives them space to do more things as they grow. They can make stuff there like models and machine parts. They also have space for designing electronics and doing research. This new place will work with Andretti's other facilities in Indiana and Banbury. Moreover, Andretti's press release mentioned that they started working on the F1 project a while ago. They focused on getting the right people and doing important tasks like designing the car's aerodynamics, mechanics and how it drives. They plan to finish the new facility step by step, depending on what they need for business and the team. However, F1 itself wasn't entirely convinced, leading to lengthy talks that resulted in Andretti being denied entry for the 2025 season. Despite this setback, Andretti remains determined, pressing on with their project. F1 has hinted that they might reconsider Andretti's entry for the 2028 season, leaving a glimmer of hope for the team's future in the sport. Andretti Global has made a significant investment in its Formula One ambitions by opening a new facility at Silverstone. The team stated, We've taken a big step forward in our journey to join the FIA Formula One World Championship by launching a new Silverstone Park UK facility. Joined by the existing Andretti Cadillac UK workforce of approximately 80 people, we inaugurated this new British home for our wider Andretti family today. Andretti outlined that the new building will work in conjunction with its other facilities around the world. It is an independent property in its own name, with the possibility to scale up activities as the situation evolves. The flexible space will house manufacturing facilities, including pattern, model and machine shops, ADM, electronics, R&D, and additional office and meeting facilities. This new space will continue to work hand-in-hand -hand with our principal Andretti site in Indiana and our Formula E facility in Banbury and will be a collaborative site for our global family of race teams. The F1 project has been split between operations in Silverstone, Indiana and at the GM Tech Center in North Carolina. Our preparations began some time ago with a focus on critical activities such as assembling key staff and focusing on long lead time activities including aerodynamic design, mechanical design and vehicle dynamics. The new facility will be completed in phases according to commercial and sporting needs and workforce requirements. With every F1 team having a base in Europe, Andretti recognized the importance of shifting across the Atlantic. We have said that our work continues at pace. This new facility embodies that work, the statement added. While we are building an American works team, having a European base is a great way to attract the best in F1 talent and install state-of-the-art machinery. So, it's an independent property equipped to expand its activities as needed. The versatile space will accommodate various functions, including manufacturing facilities like pattern, model and machine shops and areas for ADM, electronics, R&D, and additional office and meeting spaces. They've been saying they're working fast, and this new place shows that. 
even though they're making an American team, having a base in Europe is smart because they can attract top F1 talent and use the best equipment. Since Andretti isn't in the Formula One championship yet, they don't have to follow F1 rules, including the rules about money. This means they can set up everything they need if they have enough money and believe they'll join F1 eventually. What did F1 say when rejecting the Andretti operation? F1 shared a long statement, 1434 words long, to explain why they said no to Andretti Global. Their main reason was that having an 11th team might not make F1 better. They said a new team needed to prove that it would make F1 more valuable, either for the championship itself or for the people who own the rights to it. They said, the most significant way in which a new entrant would bring value is by being competitive, in particular by competing for podiums and race wins, said the statement. This would materially increase fan engagement and would also increase the value of the championship in the eyes of key stakeholders and sources of revenue such as broadcasters and race promoters. They explained that the best way a new team could add value is by being good at racing. It would make fans more excited if they could fight for top positions in races and even win. It would also make F1 more valuable to important people like TV companies and the people who organize the races. F1 didn't change their mind about Andretti even though they had a big deal with Cadillac through General Motors. At first, GM wouldn't provide the engine directly but would be a behind-the-scenes partner for a few years. F1 thought having a GM engine from the start would have made Andretti look more serious, but they also pointed out that being new to both building cars and making engines would be a big challenge. Furthermore, F1 also didn't like the idea that Andretti would have to design two very different cars in consecutive years because of rule changes, and without a GM engine right away, F1 thought the other engine suppliers might not want to work closely with Andretti, worrying about protecting their own secrets. They doubted Andretti's understanding of these challenges and questioned if they were really ready for F1. They acknowledged Andretti's success in other races but said, F1 is different and harder. They also warned that even big companies like GM might struggle to make a good F1 engine. So in the end, F1 decided Andretti wouldn't be good competition in F1, especially without a strong engine partner right away. F1 would bring more value to Andretti than the other way around. F1 looked at Andretti's application as a business opportunity. They said Andretti's team could be good for the championship if they were competitive, but F1 also said they didn't think Andretti would be competitive. Even though there's a rule that says existing engine makers have to supply engines to teams that can't find any, F1 doesn't want to enforce it. They think it would make F1 look bad. F1 basically said Andretti needs F1 more than F1 needs Andretti. Andretti's name is known in F1, but F1 thinks being in F1 would help Andretti more. Also, they don't expect Andretti to join to make much money for them. They also think it would make things harder for race organizers and the other teams. We do not believe that the applicant has shown that it would add value to the championship, the statement concluded. We conclude that the applicant's application to participate in the championship should not be successful. But there's still a glimmer of hope for Andretti. Just this week, they announced they're still working hard to get into F1 in the next year or two. F1 mentioned that if Andretti were to enter the 2028 championship with support from GM, either as a factory team or by using GM engines as a customer team, they might view it differently. This is especially true if it means bringing a new car manufacturer into the sport. Even though many current F1 teams weren't thrilled about Andretti joining, F1 clarified that they didn't talk to those teams when assessing Andretti's application. However, they did consider how adding an 11th team would affect everyone involved in F1, like sponsors, broadcasters and other teams. So what do you think of the unexpected move by Andretti toward the F1 grid entry? Comment below and subscribe for more.